What's up everybody and welcome back to Minecraft Generations. We are now in uh, Minecraft 1.4.2 and yeah. Today I have uh, I, I have plans to build a nice little enchanting shack here. Um, actually that's all I have on the agenda. I don't have much but I'm probably going to get distracted knowing me and I'll start doing something else. But yeah, let's um let's get this thing started. It's a cool design that I came up with uh earlier today. I spent this morning uh like brainstorming what I'm going to do here. And I uh, I kind of wanted to build it on camera. Uh, this should be everything that I need to build it. Um, I'm going to clean out my inventory real quick. So I chose this location and I built out a nice gravel path that leads to it and connects back around to the other side, to the side of the farm, which looks pretty good. Uh, I have all this area to play with when I get going. So, yeah. So, if I remember correctly, it is... It is this pattern all the way around. This is one, two, three. I am a... Ooh, I am a, I'm a few blocks short. To be specific, I am six blocks short. I just miscounted all my blocks that went into here. Next, we need our spruce wood. That goes here. And I'm going to be using spruce wood and birch wood in this. It creates a nice little contrast, and the birch wood fits into the the rest of the theme in this build it's gonna it's gonna look nice okay so all that goes in and then we place all of our stairs to create a more rounded look and then we place our slabs and that uh, ah yeah, that, that's nice. It uh, creates a nice frame for the windows and melds right into the base of the structure. Oh, that's... Just remembered where all of the rest of these eight planks go. They go nicely squared away in these corners. These go here. Now it's... The stairs go in. Oh, this is coming together much faster than it did uh, when I was initially designing it. And honestly, this is, a little, this is just going to be a fun little build that I can store things in. Yeah, I think this highlight sounds like a good idea. Go above my multi... Uh, species forest. I have some nice spruce and oak and birch. Oh man, I should have I should have grabbed all of the colored wool because the next step is oops, is to put wool on top. And once we get to that part, I think it's going to be fairly obvious of what we're building here. Oh yeah, it, it's looking good already. Now, I didn't take any pictures of how the roof looks. Okay, so let's start out with... A nice red border here. Let's fill in the corners. I, I have an idea. 
I'm, at this point, I'm now winging it. This goes something like this. Wait, something like this. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, let's not do that. This is a different roof than what I originally made, but I think it works out fine. Oh, actually, this is a much better roof than what I originally made. Okay, let's grab the shears. Let's replace a few patches with white. If you haven't guessed already, uh... It's a big old mushroom. <laughs> it looks good kind of hidden in the trees. I think what I'm going to do real quick... Okay, it looks a little bit funny now. That looks a little blocky. That's a nice little building tip. Uh, smooth out some of your corners. They might be a little bit too much. And it will help out, help break out a few things. Break up a few things, I mean. Yeah, I mean, look how much uh, smoother that makes that look. Uh, no, I can't get rid of that. Or could I? That's an exposed block. I can't get rid of that. I feel like we need to do one last little round off. Oh god. Oh god. No! Ah! Come on! <laughs> Dang it! There it is, my mystical mushroom. Is there something that starts with an M that I can use? Uh, mystical mushroom mansion? Manor? No. That doesn't sound right. I think it's I think it's cute. Okay, I I'm I'm a fan of it. It's just so cozy looking. I think that's generally the vibe that I'm going for. Cool, we, we got done with that build pretty fast. I guess it helps to have like a plan. Ooh, it's snowing. It snowed in this world for a while. Uh, let's get up on this mushroom real quick because we need to spawn proof it. I need more torches. So yeah, uh, I wanted to turn this uh, mushroom into a little magical uh, powerhouse. So I'm going to put all my magical stuff in here, like the enchanting table, I'm going to put the anvil, um, and it was just dawning on me that I could put a, uh, wait, that's not right, that's not, that's on the corner. I could put a brewing stand in there, but to do a brewing stand, I need a blaze rod. But on the on the bright side, we do know of the location of another fortress. So we have uh, materials for an enchanting table, and we have a good few bookshelves. Uh, what we also need is an anvil which we can make just like that we can go right right back in here and realize that we need to decorate this place a little bit because oh boy is it is it barren well don't worry we have some wool we have some bookshelves let's Make that enchanting table real quick. Boop. Boop, boop. And ba -doop. And let's tear out this floor. Put our nice checkerboard carpet in. And we're going to fill the rest in with birch planks. Oh, that's that's a good enchanting enchanter setup. 
Uh, let's put an anvil there. And let's make two more chests to balance things out. This could be the, like, enchanting chest. And this could be, like, the potion brewing area, maybe? Yeah, that, that looks nice. Oh, that is so cozy to walk into. <laughs> we did a good job here. We'll craft a single wooden door. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. It's been 13 levels. Ooh, efficiency 3. Fire aspect 1. That is kind of a useless enchantment for what, because we're gonna go into the nether. I think we have everything that we need to get to the nether fortress and get ourselves a blaze rod. Okay, maybe a new set of armor. <laughs> or at least some pants. The sun is shining, the snow has stopped falling, and we... We're going to take a little adventure into the nether so that we can get ourselves a blaze rod. Okay. Now, I remember the nether fortress kind of, kind of just stuck out of the wall. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. Whoa. Some piglins don't have uh, golden swords. Huh. I thought they always had golden swords. Hey, these these guys have uh, uh, golden swords. I wonder why the ones before didn't. Oh, I need to be careful. Uh, in in this update, they introduced. Uh, Wither skeletons. And <laughs> oh, that's just blaze. I wonder why, why I'm here. Uh, might as well grab the rest of this nether wart while I'm here. Yeah, I remember seeing quite a few uh, little blaze pockets out here. Is there any reason to grab more than one blaze rod? Oh, I can get Eyes of Ender. Yeah. Maybe that would be nice to have for when I eventually go and kill the Ender Dragon. I've no. Ooh, okay, that's three of them. Ow. Ignore me. I'll take a few of those rods. Are there more blazes up here? Oh yeah, there are. Dang. This is a pretty good spot. <laughs> Oh, you only get two blaze powder? I thought you got more than that. You get three in modern Minecraft, that's right. And potion brewing uh, doesn't require blaze powder until... Uh, ooh, that's a spooky sight. Hey buddy, you're more than two blocks tall. But you have friends. Oh, oh. Okay, I came. I got everything that I came here for. What? Oh, 
but no wither skeletons like that one. Oh. <laughs> ah, okay, that was silly. But if you do this throughout a whole nether fortress, um, you can't be attacked by uh, wither skeletons because all you have to do is step beyond this line and they can't reach you. Oh, no, no, you're not supposed to do that. Uh, My hubris got got the best of me there. Okay, let's let's go back home. Uh, you know what? We can uh, make a potion. I kind of want to make a potion without without googling how to make potions. I think that would be fun trying to trying to figure out how to make a potion. We can make, um, let's go for swiftness. I think that's just sugar. Cauldrons are kind of useless in the grand scheme of thing, things. Because, I mean, yeah, you can, you can get water from rain, but... That's basically its only real use, unless you're on Bedrock Edition, because on Bedrock Edition you can uh, undye any like leather armor and stuff. Place that down first. Oh, well, can't do that. Ah, oh, that. That does look a little nicer. Should I put... I should put it up there. On top of this other chest. Right now it's just a dump chest. Okay, so we have our nether wart. Um, we're gonna make a potion of let's say swiftness we're gonna need some sugar and I'm glad we have was it redstone or glowstone that we need to uh, extend the duration one of them extends the duration the other ex uh, makes it more powerful I think Redstone actually makes it more powerful. So let's start with stick some Nether Ward in there. I'm gonna get some awkward potions. I'm gonna stick in some sugar, and that's gonna, I think, turn it into swiftness. You know, this is kind of just basically soda. We're adding flavoring and some sugar. And the redstone's kind of like caffeine. We're, we're putting some more energy in it. <laughs> or Baja Blast. Oh, that, that just increased the time. Just Baja... Now we're so speedy. Zoom. Gosh, we're really just going through everything right now. <laughs> I mean, we built this little mushroom, we built an anvil, we built a uh, enchanting table, we filled it with bookshelves, we made a brewing stand, we planted a few uh, 
uh, whatchamacallits, uh, uh, nether warts. We made, uh, we, we have everything. Everything that we need here. 